Wonder Hussy here, camping out in the amazingly beautiful Gila National Forest in New Mexico. I just got to my campsite after a long day of exploring and I am starving. Now, some of you know, if you've been following me for a while, that I don't really like to cook. So my go-to camping meal is Frito pie. Basically just Fritos with a bunch of chili and stuff on top of it. But to cook that, I am really lazy. I don't like to get a pot dirty, so I like to put the can directly into a campfire and heat it that way. But sometimes you just don't feel like messing with a campfire. Like tonight, I'm camping out here by myself. What am I gonna do? Sit around the fire for three hours, uh, twiddling my thumbs? No, I just wanna eat something quick and pass out. Well, fortunately for me, a girl I went camping with back in March tipped me off to an awesome camping delicacy that's quick, delicious, and doesn't require anything more than a pot of boiling water. This revolutionary dish is called a ramen bomb, and it only takes two easy ingredients. Ramen and instant mashed potatoes. Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I didn't say this was a healthy recipe. I said it was easy and delicious, and it's both, trust me. If you're fortunate enough to be in a position like me where you can pretty much eat as many calories as you want and not get fat, I'm very active, uh, this ramen bomb is, well, the bomb. It was developed by backpackers who were carrying lightweight dehydrated food and burning tens of thousands of calories every day on the trail and wanted something really filling at the end of the day. Well, I'm not exactly backpacking, I'm car camping, but hey, exploring really works up an appetite, so I am ready to get bombed. And because it's me and I like to make things complicated, I got this fancy bowl noodle hot and spicy flavor, but I also have some other options. If I feel like getting really fancy, I can do a creamy coconut Vietnamese pho with brown rice noodles or a toasted garlic pho with brown rice noodles. And moreover, I've got options when it comes to potatoes. I can do roasted garlic and Parmesan baby reds or just plain old fashioned roasted garlic. And because I do have some regard for my health and I'm always trying to figure out a way to get vegetables in, I actually modified the recipe and add a can of mixed vegetables. Now, obviously, if you're a backpacker, you're not going to be carrying a heavy can of mixed veggies around with you, but like we already established, I'm not backpacking. Now, I know these mixed veggies, which is corn, peas, green beans, and lima beans, isn't really leafy greens. These are pretty starchy veggies. You know, I've had this before and I feel like they actually pair really well when you mix it in with the ramen and the noodles. It's kind of almost like a shepherd's pie effect. It's friggin' delicious. Okay, while you're waiting for your water to boil, you can go ahead and prep the other ingredients. Uh, tonight I decided to go pretty traditional. I'm gonna do the hot and spicy flavor bowl noodle. Primarily because I find the bowl itself to be easier to mix, well, frankly, to mix this quantity of food in. I haven't tried this Vietnamese bowl yet and I'm a bit skeptical that the potatoes and everything would fit in it. And like I said, I'm super lazy. And one thing about me is I friggin' hate washing dishes. I mean, out of anything in life, I hate washing dishes the most. I'm super anal, I'm a Virgo, right? I keep my house spick and span, but I will let dishes pile up in the sink simply because I friggin' hate washing them so much. I think it stems from Oh gosh, when I was a kid, I had to wash the dishes. That was my chore. And for whatever reason, to this day, I can't stand washing dishes. I just, I don't like getting my hands wet. Oh, anyways, I've been yakking on so long, my water is boiling. Better prep my ingredients. Okay, fortunately, the prep is super easy. You just open up the bowl of noodles and you dump in the little flavor packet that came with it. This is hot and spicy. Pick whatever flavor you want. Next, you want to go ahead and dump in your instant mashed potatoes. I'm uh, putting half a pack in my bowl because, let's face it, I've been driving most of the day, so I can probably only metabolize, oh, 8,000 calories as to my normal 16,000. And finally, you want to add your vegetables so that the hot water warms them up. Now, I found from experience that if I dump this can of veggies, with the water into the ramen bowl. It's gonna to be too full. 
uh, for the boiling water to heat everything up. So you could just dump the water out, but hey, that's where all the vitamins are. So I'm just gonna have a little pre-dinner cocktail. I can hear a bunch of you out there going, ew, gross. But hey, it's just vegetable water. Anyways, I'm gonna dump that into my ramen stuff now. And now I'm gonna pour my boiling water in. I think you're only supposed to pour it up to the fill line, but boy, space is at a premium in this ramen bowl. So I'm gonna fill this thing up as far as I can and then put the uh, cover back on it and then let it sit for the recommended three minutes, three to four minutes. Okay, while that's cooking, I can go ahead and do my cleanup, which basically consists of, well, this isn't a very environmentally friendly dish either, I'm afraid. I'm gonna throw this packaging waste away. Um, at least I won't have to wash anything more than a spork, so I won't be wasting any water. And since I don't have very much prep work to do, it gives me a little bit of time to walk around and enjoy this amazing friggin campground. First of all, this is a free National Forest campground. It doesn't cost anything to stay here. It's meant for horseback riders, I guess, equestrians, because there's a couple of corrals here to keep your horses in. But it's a Friday night, May 31st. There is nobody here. And the best thing about it is there's four bars of 4G on Verizon. I know a lot of you probably prefer to get offline when you're out in the wilderness, but for me, it's really hard if I get uh, disconnected for a few days because my email piles up and becomes an avalanche, a suffocating avalanche that causes me panic attacks and heart palpitations. So <laughs> it's always better for me if I have at least a few bars of signal. Uh-oh, I think my food's ready. Okay, let's see how the old ramen bomb a la wonder has it. Ooh, look at that. Yummy. Now, I'll be honest. I kind of thought those instant mashed potatoes were kind of gross white trash food, but hey, don't knock them till you try them. I tried them and they're freaking delicious. Anyways, I'm going to stir this all around to get the noodles and the spice packet and the veggies and the taters all evenly distributed. See what I mean with a shepherd's pie thing? It kind of looks like a big old shepherd's pie. Okay, let's eat. Mmm. 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 So good. Just like mom used to make it. <laughs> Just kidding. My mom would never have made something like this for us. And she's probably watching this video and cringing right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. Call me lazy. But I think this is one of the best camping meals you can make. And even when I am camping with friends or in a spot where I'm going to have a campfire, you know, it does help to break up the monotony of having Frito pie every night. You can alternate it here and there with a delicious, healthy, nutritious ramen ball. I think it's called a bomb because it sits in your stomach like a friggin' cannonball at the end of the night. But you know what? It helps you sleep really well. And best of all, this meal clocks in at only 12,350 calories and only 845,000 grams of sodium. But it's fat free. Oh, I'm only halfway through and I can already feel the sweet, sweet sedative effects of all those delicious carbs. Something tells me I am gonna sleep like a baby tonight and be ready for another day of exploring tomorrow. Oh. <laughs>